Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the syllabus dot point uh, twisted into a helix. So it's just putting the keywords up here with each strain composed of a sugar phosphate backbone and a nitrogenous base uh, that are complementary to each other with our A's with our T's and our G's with our C's. So we'll go into what that means in a second. So as we know, DNA is deoxyribonucleic, oops, I think I spelled that wrong, acid. So the D, the N, and the A. So deoxyribonucleic acid. So the deoxyribo refers to the sugar that is found there. Nucleic uh, is because it's found in the nucleus, and then acid is because of the different chemicals that it is made up of. So we know from previous lessons that DNA makes up the 46 chromosomes that are found in the nucleus of our cells. And the DNA is broken up into genes based on the different bases. So we've got four different bases in DNA, A, T, C, and G, and they come together always A with T and G with C, which is what we call complementary base pairing. So when we look at a big long strand of DNA, it needs to be wound up to fit inside the nucleus of our cell. So when we are looking at this term up here, double helix, if we were to look at DNA straightened out, it would look a bit like a ladder. Okay, so we've got our double strands, which is what we said up the very top here. So strand one and strand two, with our bases meeting in the middle, and they're bonded together by hydrogen bonds. Okay, so in order to be able to fit this massive molecule inside the nucleus of our cell, we need to have it in this helical shape, which means that it's wound around on itself. Okay, so it gets wound up on itself and then spun up on itself again, over and over again, in order for it to be able to fit into such a very small space. So if we were to have a look at this section here, okay, so we know that it's got a sugar phosphate backbone, which is this part here. The backbone, just like a ladder, the sides of our ladder are made up of our sugar and our phosphates, and then the steps of our ladder is made up of our bases. So if we break this down over here, okay, we have our phosphate, which binds with our sugar, which then binds with our base. So our four different bases have slightly different shapes, so they're able to join with each other. Okay, so our phosphate, our sugar, and our bases are here. And so if this is adenine, this will be thymine, so our A and our T. And then our sugar will bond with another phosphate, which will bond with another sugar, which will bond with another base. Okay, and this time we'll have our C and our G. Okay. So here we can see three different representations of the DNA structure, all showing that they're double-stranded, so two strands, two strands, and two strands. We have our sugar phosphate backbone, and we have our complementary bases that join together in the middle, always A with T and always C with G, as we can see from the different shapes of the different bases. And I think that covers everything for this dot point, so we'll leave it at that.